Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me, I'm in the shop, as you can see. Uh, we've had some rain, so demos have kind of been a little bit slower lately. So I thought we'd shoot a video of what the heck we're doing here in the shop. This is a 2200, uh, so it's got five inch spacing, 22 inch blades, uh, the larger spring coil with a five bolt hub. Um, this one, we're putting the hydraulic switchblade shank kit on, and uh, we'll turn this thing around. We're actually getting ready to mount a cedar on it tomorrow as well. So let's turn this thing around and dive in. So, like I mentioned, 2200. So we're on five inch spacing. We've got a five bolt hub. This is the eight wave blade option. There's also a 13 wave blade option. We've pretty much went to uh, all eight waves. Uh, they just obviously have got a larger cutting diameter and we feel that this tool's heavy enough uh, to penetrate and go in the ground no problem. Um, here's the hydraulic shank option. Uh, they call it the switch blade. And uh, this thing has just blown up in popularity mainly because of the diversity that it adds to the tool. Um, of course, that shank is following right behind that blade. And on this particular setup, we're putting them every 30 inches. Now, uh, the beauty of the shanks is uh, pretty deep. Um, you know, not only can you use them whenever you want, um, but it turns this tool into a completely different tool, you know, something that, that you would prep seed beds with in the spring with them up to a tool that can, uh, you know, refit headlands or high traffic areas and reduce compaction and, uh, or not reduce, but rem it really makes it a, uh, an extremely versatile, uh, tool. So, you know, we go from maybe managing corn stalks, maybe uh, managing headlands, because, uh, you know, you're typically not going to chisel every inch of your field. Um, so, you know, you can do it on the fly and, you know, hit those areas where some water lays, where some high traffic areas go. Now, I get a lot of questions on how deep these things go. They're not, the cylinder's not all the way down right now. Um, but they're usually going to sit about uh, four inches below the blade depth. Um, so, of course, that depends on how deep you have the tool set. But uh, seven to eight inches is not out of the question with those shanks. Of course, we are always going to finish off with the standard three-bar Harrow 14-inch rolling basket um, on this I-Series tool. Now, I really like these Harrows. These Harrows... I get a lot of questions about what they are responsible for. Their job is one thing, and it is the side-to-side -side leveling. Um, you know, I have a lot of guys say, well, I want a tool that levels, or they'll talk about the rolling basket leveling. Uh, the rolling basket cannot level on almost anything. It cannot level. Uh, what does the leveling is these harrows as they drag. And what you do is you pull that pin, and you can pull this arm back, and the further you pull that back, the more tension or the more straight forward, straight up and down, these harrows are gonna be. As I push forward on it, they can get more relaxed. So as they get relaxed, they let more residue or dirt through. For example, if we're working in bean ground in the spring, there's hardly any residue. I'm gonna pull this arm back. I'm gonna stand them straight up and they're pretty dang rigid right now in this position. They're standing straight up and they're rigid. If I'm running in the fall or in heavy residue, I push the arm forward. Now they can relax. See how far back that is and see that difference. Those things do an awesome job. They're long to handle the trash and they do a phenomenal job. Um, you can see in there just the storm of colders, uh, eight wave blades doing a heck of a job. Of course, this chassis 
uh, sits on the large heavy duty, I call them the cement truck tires. But they make it really nice for towing. If we turn around here, we can see the size. Right there, 315 ADR 225s. They make uh, towing this equipment around a dream and uh, we really like it. Now, we'll go up front here quick and check out this hydraulic block because it is what does all the work for the hydraulic shanks. So this is where you turn your hydraulics on and off. And then this is also where you control the down pressure on that hydraulic cylinder. That controls your trip force. Uh, and of course, these two hydraulics, pressure and return, go to the tractor. Now, like on all Salfords, right here is your adjustment. You loosen this wing nut, and right there it's labeled. Deeper is this way. It's got a notch, and every turn is one quarter of an inch of adjustment. So you can really fine tune this. Our fore and aft tilt is on a hydraulic cylinder. That's so nice. We don't have to turn the turnbuckle here by hand. We can just do that with the flip of a lever up in the cab to make sure that we're running true and level all the time. So we're about done on this tool. Got to get some stickers on it, do some fine tune adjustment. And uh, this tool is going to be ready to hit the field. So another over overview of the 2231 with the hydraulic switch blade shank kit getting put together here in the shop in late november so that's what we're doing today thanks for tuning in